Welcome to Programmer Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about how to use the RFID module. Okay, let's go. This is the module I will use in this video. This module helps us read RF tag or RF tag when I put them near the module. Okay, and it operates at 13.56 MHz. It's quite stable and cheap. This is two RF tag and RF tag are included when I buy this module. So with this module, we can communicate it with the Arduino via SPI protocol, I2C protocol, or UR protocol. But the library I will use in this video also support SPI protocol, so I will use SPI protocol in this video. First, I will show you how to connect module RFID to Arduino. Okay, this is the diagram. With the module RFID, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins. But we don't use the IRQ pins. Okay? Don't care about that. We just use 7 pins on the module. Okay, first of all, we will connect SDA pins to pin 10. Next is SCK pins to pin 13. Next is Mosi, I will connect to pin 11 and Miso, I will connect to the pin 12 okay, and GND with GND 3.3 voltage with 3.3 voltage reset will be connect to pin 9 okay, with this, you have to pay attention about this with the RFID module you have to connect to the 3.3 voltage to supply to module Please don't connect to 5 voltage. It can be burn your module. Okay, this is the URL RFID Arduino library. You can move to this to download the RFID. Okay, when you move this site, you have to clone one of this with zip file to your computer. Okay, after you download, you have to move to sketch, include library, and add .zip library. After click add .zip library, uh, it will appear windows, so you need to point to the file you have just already downloaded. Okay, and click OK. Now, if you, if you want to assemble to open a project after you download the library, okay, you move to file, assemble, and move to RFID here RFID MFRC522 this is the name of module okay there's many project you can check right here okay but first I will test the module RFID to know whether it's run stable with the firmware check okay okay I will upload this code to my Arduino, but first I have to connect my Arduino to the module RFID card. Okay, let's check. Okay, this is my RFID modules. I have already connected some wires, so because I don't have enough colors of wires as a diagram, so I will use the different colors from the line, okay? And this is two RF cards and RF tag. Okay? Now we connect like the diagrams. First the phone is 3.3 voltage. Please pay attention, don't connect to 5 voltage, okay? Three dot three voltage. Next a G next a reset pins and we connect to pin nine. Okay, next a ground I will connect to G and D. Next is MISO. The MISO is connected to 12. 12, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Next is MOSI. MOSI will be connected to 11. 11 here. And next is SCK. SCK will connect to bin 13. And the last one will connect to end. 
Atas ASDA Okay, done So I will connect my Arduino to the laptop and upload the code Upload the check firmware Here, firmware check Okay Now we check part and upload. Okay, we open the serial monitor to see what's happened with my module. Okay, you can see our MFRC522 digital self test firmware version E092 2.0 and performing test is okay. Okay, my modules E operate okay. Okay, now I will use the, the other project to read the RFID card. You also move to file, sample, and move to here. RFID default keys. Okay. Okay, you can do this and okay. Now let upload in code and open the serial monitor. Okay, now I will try to scan the RFID tag, RFID card. Okay, let's see. Okay, the card UAD, that's the card serial number, that is 67 EB, E1, and 34. This is the type of card. Success key. This is the key of success. And this is block block zero. It means that when you scan the RFID card, it will the Arduino will receive a block zero like this with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You c you will receive sixteen bytes and pay attention. Uh, about this, okay. The just first five bytes or four bytes is different from the other card, and the other here, the rest of bytes are as the same because this is include parity check information about module or something. Okay, now we we'll test with the back, or you see the different with the first five bytes. Okay. Okay, you can see it's different from each other. So uh, you can use first five bytes or first four bytes to use to make your RF card number. But in this, they use four bytes. Okay, for first first four bytes to use the serial number. Okay, let's check again. Okay, now I have an application is check card to open a LED. Okay, I will use pin 7 to control LED and it will turn it on when my white RF card is scanned and it will turn it off if there are any the others RF card or RF tag is scanned. Okay? Okay, here this is a white RF card 67 EB E1 and 34. I will copy it. Copy by control and see. Okay, next I will use this link to convert hex to decimal because what I see in serial monitor is hexadecimal. Okay, I will paste to this hex and okay, sorry, 0x, 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 0x. This is a decimal value correspond with your RF card. Okay, you can use this to check your RF card by combine one by one to a string. Okay, I will open the RFID default keys to read keys and check it if in my white RFID card. Okay, now I will create a string. String my thermal RFID card. Okay, and I don't put anything in this string. Okay, 
and in this I will combine one by one character I read from the RFID cards okay by plus e is uh, buffer I okay then we move to main to check it main here okay main here I will check if my decimal RFID card is the string I can buy the string I can buy is decimal okay I will open here and copy on this pass to here but remember that between of them don't have any space so I will delete it and you have to pay attention here with the two digits number you don't have zero before it so I will delete the zero and delete the spade okay this is the decimal zero number of white card okay as the decimal okay if my string as the RFID I will open turn on the left seven I if not I will turn it up seven low and after all I have to update the my decimal RFD card again by this I will turn it here is nothing because if I put it here and in this function it will call my decimal RFD card again so I cannot put it here I will put the my RFD card right here to update it okay and I have to set the pin 7 to output first instead of function right here pin mod 7 is output okay now let's check my circuit okay this is my circuit I will connect the LED to pin 7 Okay, we need to this bar and then from that bar we need to in seven. In seven is and not and pinch in need to get out. Okay. Now I will connect to my laptop. And now I will blow my code. Okay, let's check. Upload. Okay, upload again. We we'll open the serial monitor. Oh. Okay, now we try to scan this white RF card. Okay, it's on, right? Let's on. And now we we'll test with the RF back. It's off. Off. Off, off. Now I will turn it on. On and off. 